Hello, I'm at the ST stand here at Embedded World 2014 and I've been joined by Laurent Dessinier. Now you are showcasing a new solution on the stand here, the STM 32Q. So tell us a little bit about that. So STM 32Q is a brand new software solution and the goal of this software is to ease developers' job. It was created by ST and it's fully free for any STM 32 user. It's based on two parts. The first part uh, is uh, running on the PC, the so software tool running on the PC. And the second part is embedded software bricks running on STM32. And both parts are completely consistent. So tell us about the software tool on the PC. This part is called STM32 Cube MX. So with such tool, you can easily configure your STM32 with four main wizards. Okay? For instance, you have the pinout wizard, through which you can decide how to allocate the signals on the chosen packet. There is a clock tree wizard, and with this wizard you can decide how to spread the clocks without the silicon. Uh, and then there is the uh, middleware and peripheral wizard, and you can configure anything from the UART baud rate setting and up to the TCPIP uh, full stack configuration. And finally, there is the power consumption calculator wizard, and through which you can check easily if an application will fit or not a given uh, power consumption budget. So with these four wizards, when you are fully ready with your configuration, you can press one single button and done. You generate initialization C code uh, that depends on your choices. So this makes it very easy to configure your MCU without having to spend much time on documentation. What does the initialization C code look like? So this uh, part is actually sitting on the top of the embedded software part of STM32 Q. This part, uh, the goal of this part is to ease the porting from one STM32 series to another. It's made of two layers. Uh, there is the hardware abstraction layer, the first layer, and this is the layer actually ensuring this portability. You can expect, for instance, uh, using the UART the same way on STM32 F4 or STM32 F0, while the hardware implementation actually differ between the two. And the second part is the middleware layer, and ST selected uh, usual stacks or libraries like Arthos, USB, graphics, whatever, and we gathered all, them, all of them together in a very consistent and fully validated package. Okay? So with this, the user uh, can benefit from all the work done by ST, and uh, it, all this embedded software comes with tons of examples. The user can focus on his own application and allocate time on what brings really added value to him. So the STM32 portfolio is covered? So today we are announcing a Cube for STM32 a 4 series and by year two, uh, 2014 all the rest of STM32s will be covered. Best of luck, Laurent. It's been lovely talking to you. Thank you. Thank you.